for today. Um, I didn't really film an intro for this video, so that's why I'm doing this. I was gonna go down to the beach, which is just around the corner, but uh, that didn't work out because the wind's like mental, so we can't do that. But um, it's a very strong wind. So there's Logan just down the park. I guess, first of all, I've got some really exciting news on the day that we're filming this, which is the 26th? 26th? I think it's 26th. It's 26th anyway. Um, our state government just announced... 26th? Yeah, it's 26th. Um, state government announced that yeah, the two-person rule is done, and now gatherings of up to 10 people is allowed. And also recreational boating and fishing is allowed, so good for us, hopefully get out, and also school goes back, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a struggle for videos, but um, we'll try and get as much as we can, but anyway, back to the topic, this video was, uh, we filmed it a few days ago, over two days, we went down to Hillary's, and um, sorry about that, anyway, um, went down to Hillary's Marina with me, uh, Julian and Logan, we've been trying for quite a while, like a couple weeks. While in isolation, we can only hang out in two people and uh, no school or anything, so no sport. So we thought we'd try and, and I can't go out on Logan's boat, so and we're waiting for our boat to be built. So um, yeah, we had, we thought we'd try land-based fishing. we had no success really. I mean, we tried probably about four times, yeah. but nothing. Well, like literally. Snapper, like no, he didn't. Baby we caught. Yeah, no, we caught baby snapper once we went in the marina. Like, we try to... This, we're at Pinnery Point right now, which is, uh... It's, it's beautiful, but we tried there about four times. We've got nothing at all. So we thought we'd, uh... Yeah, try the rock walls at Hillary's, which is about two k's that way. And, um... Had a... Not much luck, really. Like, a couple of little fish. But, um, eventually we got to where we are in this video, which is, uh... We went down one day, I think it was on oh, Thursday or something, and we uh, tried fishing out the rock wall and uh, caught a little tarwine. I'll roll those clips now, but you know, nothing too big. Julian just hooked onto a little tarwine, little baby one. Hold him up to the camera before you get him off. Look at that, beautiful little fish. Probably only about 15 centimetres, gonna let him go, he's got to be 25. Once we've caught this little tarwine that you've just seen, is um, we didn't catch much more. We were there for about an hour, didn't catch anything more. We caught a little whiting, but it was too small. And then um, I lost my knife, so yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, sorry, Julian lost my knife. Um, so yeah, we uh, decided to call it quits and go inside the harbour because we'd had success there before. Yeah, anyway, first day we went down, we caught bunch of little whiting we ended up keeping two spent literally the whole the whole day trying to get these two whiting but honestly we spent the whole day from I think 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock at night got two little sand whiting and uh, I filled them up and uh, roll those clips now all right so we just got back from the marina with these two lovely whiting um, they're not bad size, pretty good for land base. We've just got to wait for these restrictions to be ended so we can go out and get some more. What you're going to need to fill it, you're going to need a nice sharp filling knife, fish, chopping board, plastic bag for the scraps, paper towel for cleaning them up, and uh, yeah. So we've got these nice whiting here. So what we've got to do, first step, is I've, I've uh, spiked and gilled these fish. So nice and clean and kept it nice. The first thing you want to do, you want to try and get all the slime and gunk off it by running your blade against the knife. And look at all that. Right there, you look like gunk. You don't want that in your fillet. Do this on both sides of the fish. Other side. And then you start scaling, which is the exact same thing. But once you get all the slime off them, Flip them around and then on the back of the knife up the fillet and get all the scales off it. Scales go over in small little fish bodies, but what you want to do is get all those scales off it. Oh, well. 
want to come in here, get all those scams off. Once you've them, you've got them all off. There you go, beautiful, nice, clean fill it right there. Ready to fill it up and uh, check in the pan. All right, so to fill these guys up, what you gotta do is you gotta get your knife, make sure there's no scales on it. You wanna go in behind the protection there. Just cut up into that head. That head made out. Just come down, down the edge right there. Like that, so you just gotta cut straight through there. And what you wanna do, Grab your fish. You want to cut up the backbone just like that, and then just work your way up. You can feel the backbone with your knife, and just run it up. And then just poke the knife through. And just feel it all the way through the tap. Then just grab your meat. And just work it off that backbone. Over the backbone. Over the rib cage. So there's no boning to do. And then go through. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful filling of fish. Yeah, once we'd uh fill it up those little whinings. They're a little bastard to fill it up really. They're just um, a bit of a pain, but with enough patience and uh, enough fish, you can get a decent feed out of them. So uh, yeah, once that's done, we uh, went down the next day. I uh, filled them up, fiddled those two whining up, put them in the fridge for the next day. The next day, me and Julian headed down. Yeah, I don't know. Next day, me and Julian headed down and we, um, same thing, we went down a bit later, about three o'clock, and we caught, um, we caught bang straight up, we caught a few little snapper and a few little Sam Whiting, like little, little Sam Whiting, probably about yay big. So I put them back, and then eventually after about, only about ten minutes of being down there in the, in the boat pens, we caught a, we caught a, um, Big Sam Whiting, about 23 centimetre Sam Whiting, it's a good size for in the morning, I was pretty stoked actually. And then uh, we caught another, then we caught another, um, caught another Sam Whiting about five minutes after that, which is a bit smaller, probably about 20 centimetres. Then uh, Chester pulls up a decent sized herring. Straight away, just chuck them all in the esky. Um, we caught them all within about 15 minutes of each other, like. And then uh, we tried till about sunset. Didn't get much else. A few little whiting, a few little snapper, a few blowies, of course. And uh, yeah, this this was the same spot as that other video we did the other week, the uh, apple whiting and butterfish video. In the marina, it was the same spot as that, but we actually caught bigger ones this time. So uh, yeah, it was pretty good. So yeah, that day pretty good actually we got three we got three really good fish and uh cleaned them up filled them up same way as I did the other ones then uh now we get to the cooking bit which I got I do have on film and I'll roll those clips now what you're gonna want you can want some lemon peppers some salt some pepper and some plain flour mix it all together make a little mix of this put your fish and then dip that in there and put that in the fry pan all, right, all the fish is dusted, ready to go on the pan. Got the pan heating up, just put some oil in there, and then uh, turn it on. Got it, guys. Pan's all heated up. Eat the fish, drop it on in. Now the key to cooking fish is to cook it on high heat, 
quick rather than low heat or slow. Just need a quick cook on each side and they probably only need about a couple minutes on each side. Take them off and uh, should be good. So that's just a handful of fresh whiting right there. We've got some herring we caught also. That on the sides. As you can see, it's almost already cooked. It's because this fish is so small and cooks so quickly. If you're cooking bigger fish, like a, I don't know, G fish or something, you want to cook it for a bit longer, but to see how uh, that throwing stuff is sizzle. So that should be real good. Right up, it's been cooking, you can see, just about ready to be flipped. So it really doesn't need very long, it's only been on for about a little half on each side. Now I haven't skinned these because once you scale them, the skin is nice and crispy and delicious. A bit hard right now because I'm trying to film and flip them over. But look how good that looks. Yeah, seriously. Look at that. Just falling apart for tender. Tell you what, fresh whiting. We literally just caught that. Like we went fishing yesterday, and then we went fishing again today. Literally just caught that. It's now 6:30. We're probably out fishing at about four. So two hours old, billeted, kept on ice straight on the pan. Mate, you don't get much better than this, I'm telling you. Look how bloody good that looks, eh? Man, like, seriously, fresh sand whiting doesn't get any better than that. Seriously, like, probably one of my favourite fish. They're just so tender and sweet, especially when they're caught fresh. So, uh, yeah, we'll just give this a couple more seconds and we'll uh, chuck it on a plate and uh, eat it up. Guys, look how good that looks. Seriously, like, honestly, look how good that is. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it, like, honestly. So, uh, yeah, nice and brown. Once you cook like this so simply, it's just so bloody tasty, I tell you. Chuck it on a plate. Simple with fresh fish is the best. No need to overcomplicate it. A little bit of salt, pepper, flour, fresh fish, some olive oil, and you've got yourself some absolutely mean food. Right, look at that. Look at that plate. How good that fresh fish is. Falling apart. Literally all you need to pipe, seriously, honestly. Fresh mayo, fresh fish, I mean, doesn't get any better than that, but like, seriously. Absolutely. Righto guys, digging into some of this wine. Look how good that looks. So bloody Honestly, just a little bit of mayo and mayo. Oh my god, like, how good is that? Righto guys, cheers for watching. That'll, ba that'll uh, that's pretty much done for the episode. Th those whiting, I, I had them the other day and they were amazing because we've been trying to fish for so long and we sold our me, my family sold our boat and Logan's had his boat but we haven't been able to go on it until tomorrow when the tomorrow when the we're allowed to go out at it and uh, Chester's t tinny is they're getting the motor his tinnies he's got two tinnies he's setting up I'm sure one of the videos the initial setup with 
they're going on um, Tuesday to go pick up another tinny with the newish Johnson 15 two-stroke. So then we're going to put that motor on the restored dinghy and uh, take that out as soon as we can, really, as soon as the weather's good and uh, it's pretty crap for the next few days. So, yeah, um, yeah, we'll get out there as soon as we can on the dinghy and for now we can and then we'll get out Logan's boat and then my family will be building our boat soon. I'm not sure when. I don't know when. We're going to be getting a newish, like, five and a half metre boat. It should be sick, so I'll film some of that. And then, I mean, once all this is over, like, be out fishing as much as you can, really. Uh, and, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned, because uh, Logan is... He went out... When was it? Friday? Friday? Yeah, Friday. He went out Friday. It's Monday. It's... Sunday now. Yeah. He went out Friday. He caught a big fish. And he, a day. he caught a very big fish. Um, and got it on video. One. Interesting one. Oh, well, interesting I, one. Un unexpected, really. Not really. It was different grade. It, it was a good fish. It was good fish. Good fish. Solid fish. And we got a catch, clean, and cook of that coming up soon. It's not a Dewey. It's not a Baldy. It's not a Pinky. It's not a uh, eight bar cod. Something different. And it is should be a sick video, and we will have that up about a week, half a week after this video goes live. And uh, yeah, it'll be sick. So stay tuned for that. All right, cheers for watching, and uh, yeah, get out there.